Welcome back to another Aegis Sub tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to hard code your subtitles into your video. In the last video, we learned how to do this using VLC Player, and in this video, we're going to use Handbrake. The one thing about if we use Handbrake, though, is that we don't get to preserve the styling. So I won't have this nice blue background. I don't get to choose the size of the subtitles. It's all just going to be whatever the default is set up by Handbrake. Um, and it has to be an SRT file. So first of all, we're going to go to File and go to Export Subtitles. Click Export. And then we'll just export it uh, where my video is, and I'm just going to call it SRT. So I'll call it uh, doit.srt. So the SRT file, if you remember, it doesn't have much information with it. If we right click and go to edit, it only has the timestamp, when to start the subtitle, when to end the subtitle, and where it will appear. And just for your information, you can actually change this. If we were to edit this in here, it would actually be edited in the, it, it would change the way that it shows on the subtitle if we were to save it. Um, so what we're going to do is open up Handbrake now, uh, and we're going to uh, actually re-encode this video with those subtitles in there. So we can drag the video right in. Here's the video. We'll just drag and drop it in there. And then we'll click on the subtitles tab. And we can choose. We can click import SRT and choose our subtitle file. And then we just need to make sure we click this burn in down here under the source. And then we need to choose a location that we're going to be exporting this uh, video with the subtitles burned into it. So under Save As, click Browse, and we'll just say uh, do it subs and click Save. So it's going to save to this directory uh, with this name. We'll just click Start and Code up here, and it'll take a little, not too long. This is a short video, but depending on if you're doing a two-hour video, it could take longer, and depending on what computer you're using. Okay, that's all finished now, so we can close out of this. We can open up that directory, and now we have three files. Our original video, our SRT file, and our new one, with hopefully with the subs hard-coded in there. Just to make sure, I'm going to delete the, uh, the folder, so the, the file, so there's no actual subtitles that this can draw from. And we'll see if it has them hard-coded in. Do it. it does. Just do it. But you see, there's not the styling there. It doesn't have the same styling that this has the blue because the SRT file just doesn't ha isn't capable of that. So if you want to preserve that, check out the other video where we use VLC player to burn the subtitles in. But this is just another method if maybe VLC is not working for you or you're more comfortable using Handbrake. And we can verify that there's no subtitle track here. It really is burned right into the video. So uh, go ahead and leave your questions, comments below if, you, uh, if you'd like to. Uh, please like, subscribe if you found this informative, and I'll catch you on the next video.